What's up guys, it's Ryan from Game Tech Review and welcome to UCL Marquee Matchups Investing Video. Alright, so UCL is this week and I'm just going to show you what I've bought already. Uh, there are three fixtures that we're going to look at. Uh, let me first tell you, this is just a prediction and what I would look at uh, in terms of trying to make coins. Uh, do it at your own risk. Uh, depends on how much you want to risk. Uh, but I think this is what I am thinking. Uh, so first of all, let's start off with what I think will be the main fixture, which has pop probably the highest chance to come, and that is Dortmund versus uh, Inter Milan. I think that would be the main fixture that would come, and I have got quite a few Dortmund and Inter Milan players. I think Dortmund uh, will be probably the most uh, that if they were to come, the players would rise more in Dortmund compared to Inter Milan. Oops, oops, oops. Nope, nope, nope. We don't want to do that. Uh, based on uh, the prices that I've been bidding on uh, and getting them at, from what I've noticed, I've seen a lot of... In the Inter Milan is a bit more on the cheaper side. Dortmund is a bit more on the expensive side. Uh, and as you can see, most of my cards, or nearly all except this one, are basically... Uh, rare players rare players with like minimum 78 rated uh because i want to try and maintain that like this thing so that if they were to give like a 79 rated squad requirement uh i can sell these players and make some coins the next match that i am thinking is either one of atletico madrid versus Bayer Leverkusen or atlanta versus manchester city uh atleti by Leverkusen could come uh, but I, if I'm not mistaken, Atleti, the next fixture they are playing is Juventus, which could be possibly a more chance of being, being that fixture there for the following time uh, compared to this current week. But that's a possibility. And I think the next big one is Man City versus uh, Atlanta. So it's one of the two that I am thinking that would come. We will have to see how it goes. Uh, give me a minute. Uh, but that is what I'm looking at. Uh, in terms of prices, I would go probably let's 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 look at the Dortmund, right? I would try and bid anything. Currently, at the moment, I'm trying to bid for anything that I can get. 80, 80 red is good. Uh, why girl? Probably okay. Uh, I won't take Goethe. I haven't seen Goethe rights as much. I like wide players. Uh, Guerrero wide. Uh, Lane is fine, but maybe not for. Oh. Probably not for like thousand max thousand over high. Uh, center backs are pretty good always. Good option to get. Uh, try and keep it to at least max thousand one don't over higher. I don't like Gertzer because I haven't never. I don't see Gertzer rising as much. If you want, you can get him, but he doesn't rise as much for some reason. Might have to do because of the center forward position. Uh, but like defenders and wide players are really good. Uh, so that's what I would probably go with in terms of like if I were to invest in something. Uh, and that is what I would basically do for like 1000 coins for all the clubs. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, in terms of Inter Milan, again, Inter Milan, I do like Politano a lot because he's 82 rated. Uh, oops, not wrong, wrong position. Politano, of course. He's 82 rated, going for max about 1000, you can get for less than 1000 at times, if you're lucky. Uh, Kandreva is a decent position as well, you can try and get Kandreva for like 700 coins probably. Uh, but that's what I would try and get. Politano is someone I've been looking at. And obviously, as you can see, in terms of City and Atlanta, I've gone for these players. Uh, By Leverkusen, I've gone for like... Bender and Bolan. Uh, have I got any athletic players? Yeah, I got a few athletic players in Trippier, as you can see. Uh, Vitoro, Joao Felix, like for less than 1000, as you can see. So that's what I would try and do get players for less than 1000. You're going to make coins if their uh, SPC comes. If it doesn't, I think the safest thing you can do is to try and sell before the SPC drops. Uh, and you're making guaranteed coins on these all three of these uh, matches. But if you want to make a bit more, take a bit more risk. Uh, you can wait and hold, uh, but ideally selling the hype if you want to be say on the safe side. 
Uh, I haven't, I was thinking of going all in with like the rest of the coins I had, but I haven't done that yet because it's going to take a long time to bid and I don't have enough time to bid, bid in and bid in and bid in, unfortunately. Uh, and I have only to do it today because I feel like tomorrow the prices will be a bit more higher than what it was. Uh, because that's what I, com I, I looked at last last time this happened and the prices were way more higher the day before. Uh, so they were already inflated. So I think today is the best time if you guys want to try and get, get as many as you can. Uh, Dortmund versus, I sorry, Dortmund versus Inter Milan is I think the most key feature that would probably end up coming. Uh, but anyways, this is what I think, this is what I am doing currently. Um, do hit in the comments what you guys might think might could, co could come. Uh, and also do subscribe if you're new because we are currently 16 subscribers away from hitting 300. So do subscribe, hit that like button because a lot of people, it helps the video a lot so that more people can see it. Uh, and also it, it's, it gets, it helps a lot in terms of YouTube's algorithm. So hit the like button and subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys for Team of the Week predictions and Team of the Week investment video tomorrow. Uh, see you guys later.